Okay, so for some reason after you do a cutscene, and I'm not sure why this happens, but none of the actual overworld in individuals show up. And while I think that's neat, something about that seems off. Oh, right, party. You will go here. And then you will go here. Lily formation will be given I'll uni here. Offensive style. Actually, let's put ram on offensive. Yeah, let's formation. Actually, I think that for formation, we're pretty golden. Albeit, I kind of think this would be better. Put ram a little farther in the back. Keep nip gear at front. Chirper, what are the new quests? You have a new quest. Okay. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have a new quest. Perfect. You know what? what? Just because it's been do? a while. That's a lot. Let's see what everyone's up to. See them looking nice and healthy. When I'm covered in red mist. Hmm. Just take her. I don't think anyone's gonna be mad at you. All right. I need a job. Is not vegetarian. That makes her the best. Okay, that means I can support her. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Oh, I can already Your report some of these. Has been completed. You cool. This quest has been completed. You this quest has awesome. Been completed. You this quest has been completed. So now we have You're Master sure Student, which is plummets, and I know where to find those. Talk to my sisters. Sure, that's good. That's really good. So now we got to go through some quests again. Meaning what? You go through here. You want to go here? Ooh, villager dude. Okay, let's go. There sure are a lot of enemies. Time to kill a bunch of plummets, I'm I guess. Scared, but I'll do my best. Oh, it's let's been a while, all right. It's definitely been a while since I've played this. This is a very fun game, though, so I'm not mad. Yeah. Yes. Are you tired? I'm not sure what happened. For anyone who's curious about the arcade mode run and the level 1 run of Frontiers, because I said I was going to do that a long time ago. Careful, That's in production. We already finished recording the arcade mode. Hey, it's just that I haven't actually <laughs> uploaded it yet. But it's already done, okay? It's already been recorded. I just need to upload it. Which, honestly, won't be uploaded for quite a while, but just know it's done. Meanwhile, as for Rebirth 3, what's going on with that is I actually want to play this game first. And then, while playing, after this is done, we move back to Rebirth 3. So we're pretty much going to see 80 parts of Rebirth 3. And then you're going to see this come out. If you're on YouTube. And if you're on Rumble, you're going to see this first. And then you'll see Rebirth 3 starting in part 81. I think that's the best way to put it. Because otherwise, I don't think there's any other way to do it. Alright. I know I'm looking for plummets, but I might as well just kill everything that moves because EXP is something I'm going to need. I saw some people beat this game at level 30, which I found insane to me. But that was from looking at some of the people on Reddit were posting their completed files and they were low level when they finished the main campaign. I find that kind of insane simply because usually when I play an Neptunia game my first instinct is let's just grind for a few hours then do things. In addition this game has a severe lack of DLC and I mean quite a severe lack of DLC. Now the PC versions of these games I play to record but I do have the deluxe edition on the PS5 so if I want to play this game casually for myself I'll play that version. The PC version, I have the standard version because I got the LE. Which is weird to me, you would think that the most expensive package would come with everything. But I guess not. I'm not complaining, I still like this game enough. It's just, you know, y you would think it'd be more. I do like the mouse pad though, I'm using that as a Yu-Gi-Oh map forever whenever I'm not playing a competitive match. If I'm playing a competitive match, I'm not using that one. I'm using the one from, come on, hit me. Hit me, you prick. Now we can swing. Perfect. Ta -da! <laughs> it's actually really smart to do it like that because if I'm not doing it like that, what ends up happening is he'll just start the swing and then 
this becomes a a real case of me undergoing what is called a ragdolling or just a chain of hits and I don't like getting ragdolled okay it, or some fighting game players would call it getting juggled I find that terminology a bit funny but that's what it would be called I could have sworn plummets were here did I make that up something maybe I did make it up and there really isn't any there really aren't any but I could have oops but I could have sworn otherwise hold on I think it's triggered by going through this section I just walked on top of it interesting I do find it interesting that this game just decides to give us a little force field where the battle takes place and we can't go past it in any way to my knowledge it's just a really cool method of demonstrating the combat because I think this game is extremely fun cool yeah they did win not there it's this way I do find the map design of this game to be a bit questionable, not terrible in any sense of the word, just a bit questionable because I think that this game could have had better dungeons, and that might honestly be the weakest aspect of this game. Not to say that this game is bad, no, 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 this game is great, I like playing this game a lot, but compared to Sega Hard Girls V2 and the original Neptunia, and even then the original Neptunia's best aspects were not the, were not the dungeons. I think that this game might be the weakest in that aspect. Hey, where are you going? Still, it's extremely fun. Extremely fun. Whee! And I, I want to know, is there a mod for the striped panties to return? Because that's something that's sorely missing. If, that, if we can get that mod to work out, I'd be very happy. I would be a very happy camper. Hmm. Look, we're gonna get past anyway, so let's just keep moving. At least this gameplay has some quite active mechanics, okay? You can't just, you know, stand around and take your time with it. You have to be in the moment when you're playing this game. Good. So, given that's the case, I guess I go this way. If you're ever lost, just check the map. Not that way. That's where we just came from. Where do we just... Where do we have to go? Oh, no. This is the way. Okay. Um, I do know the way. the way. Perfect. I still never figure out what the way is, but I know it. Mm-hmm. I figured it out. Jump. But first, we gotta go through this entire dungeon. And while I do find the dungeon design of this game to be quite interesting and fun, it's not perfect. Not by a long shot. Thank you. Wasn't I supposed to be looking for a specific enemy? Specifically, plummets. Where do plummets come from? I'm pretty sure they were from here. Hold on, I gotta think about what I'm doing now. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I bet it was actually. This game isn't that hard. Um, will you lead the way? Yes, we are going to lead the way, Rom. Still, 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 still. I'm surprised at how much progress we're really making. You know, I mean, as as much as as funny as the Rebirth three Let's Play is, and I actually really like how that Let's Play is going. I did drag that Let's Play on to an insane amount. Okay. Most people get to Ultra Dimension by the end of Episode 1. We don't even get to Ultra Dimension until Episode 7. And even then, the plot doesn't begin until Episode 13 or so. The rest of it, I'd pretty much spend it in the tutorials. Which is sort of an antithesis to how people usually play that game. But at the end of the day, wait, how many plummets do I need to kill? I'm, I am getting through the game. Oops, Chirper. Bookmark. 
Be sure to finish it. It's six of these You're pricks. Quite finished yet. And the Tokimaki sister. I mean, Plummet probably appears here as well. So it's not too bad to keep going through. I just wish that this was easier. And these load times, they're not terrible. They could be worse. There's Tokimaki sister. Do Plummets appear up here, actually? That's a question. I'm not sure. But I know that there's civilians here. So we gotta rescue them as well. Rabi defeated. And now, we just need to use Rom... Ram and Co to make this to make these EXC drives fill up because the EXC drives have not filled up for these characters at all. Halfway fills up EXC and then all the way up fills up Goddess Meter. When you use EXC with the Goddess Meter, you exit the Goddess location. But and here's a big one. Here's the but here. You do more damage with it as opposed to just doing the standard hits. At least Tokimeki Sister as an enemy isn't very strong. Because if it was, that would be quite bothersome to me. Still, this, I, I'm still going to say it. I will probably keep preferring turn-based combat simply because that's the kind of RPGs I grew up playing. Spam is a pain, isn't it? Don't you think? Why am I getting a phone call from Spam? You know, exit. No, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even- I'm gonna let her keep thinking I'm just waiting. Okay? Where are we? It doesn't deserve the respect. Yeah, okay, perfect. You know what? I think I actually have to go back in to get the plummet. Oh, I can't if jump back in there. Lost, just check the map. We've got a long I already go. made my decision then. Time to fight all the Tokimeki sister and then move on. Because otherwise, nothing will happen. Yeah. Clever candy. Where else do we need to go? Everywhere. We need to go everywhere at this point. And there's no in between. Okay, first we gotta take out some Rabi. Have Rom deal with these enemies for us. And we're just gonna keep spamming the chains. Okay? Realistically, what the guides all say is that spamming chain is more powerful and more relevant to the combat than maxing out your combo. Because while getting your combo up is quite beneficial it really is just better in the long run because when you do chain you get a damage multiplier and these damage multipliers make it easier to increase damage on the enemies i would hope she didn't cry this time i don't think we took damage did we where are we oh we did Wait, how much xp do i have I mean, xp hp they're close enough to fool that i'm not bothered by it okay bunny coffee that was bunny coffee. Is that a... It's probably a material that we need to grind for. Hmm. Okay. Time to go this way. Going this way will probably ensure that we find everything that I need to find. Okay, go up. I do like how this game looks. I've said that before, and I'm going to say it again. Because I genuinely think this game looks and runs great. Could it run better? Absolutely. But for the art style, I think it looks as good as it probably will look. We can do this. And I think I've upgraded the graphical fidelity of this game. Not in terms of anything, of any sort of modification. Just, I think the computer is having an easier time running this due to having much better specs than it used to. Alright. Is this enough? I do like how this... How the snowman looks, though. It's it's adorable. <laughs> okay. The snowman really just does look like... It's a bit out of place. But it still fits the character of Ram as a attack. That's a really odd way to phrase it. But that's, that's what I think, okay? That's the way I think about it. Going through this dungeon itself... I mean, these dungeons are quite big. I'm not going to lie. They could be smaller. I, I'm not kidding. I, I'm pretty sure you can fit half the dungeons in the Action Unleashed game if it wasn't for the fact that these dungeons are also multi-layered. If these dungeons were flat, I'm pretty sure they would have more surface area than the other game. Not by that much, but by enough that it is relevant. So plummets do appear here. Okay, so I'm not wasting my time. Okay, 
We need to take out everybody. We'll get everyone defeated. Alright. Cool. 